right, we're back with Brody. And this is our um, recap, our total recap. So we're gonna hit some blade numbers for you real quick. We used a 10 um, width on the outside of the ear. We went a little shorter on the inside. You make sure that you leave that tuft, fill in the, the um, divot in the entire back of the ear, as well as enough hair to cover the front of the ear canal. If they were to go to work, then they'd have something to keep the dirt out. Top of his head was a 4F against, the cheeks were 7F against, in between his eyes were 4F until we got where we needed to um, take that a little deeper to level out his two planes so they're parallel to one another. We didn't go all the way up to the outside corner of the eye because we want to create a nice rectangle. If you go too far forward and they've got a little bit of cheek, you'll end up with an hourglass instead of your rectangle. We tightened up his shoulders with a 3F against, which is actually the same as a 5F width. Um, we took that 7F all the way down to just above a couple fingers above his breastbone, um, but followed the point of shoulder. His back was done with a half inch backwards and then a 3F width, blending down to just about the elbow. There's his elbow. You can see we blended just about to the elbow and then defined his rear angulation and we left a nice curtain from the pin bone down between. The back of his tail was quite a bit shorter than the front to try and correct his lower tail set. And remember we left a little fill in his shoulders to try and level out his top line as well as a little tuft of extra hair in the front of his tail. Um, you don't have to leave tons of fe feathering or furnishings underneath, just depends on the dog, but whatever you decide to do, the front and the rear need to balance with one another, okay? Um, I used a nice comb over blender. I took my blender and used the, or took my comb and ran the blender over the top to get a nice blend. And then again, on the front of the back leg, we combed it to the angle, that rear angle, and cut. And then when we combed it forward, we got a nice angle there. So it's just you're going to have to do a little work and get used to some of these techniques. But they work really well on the Scotty Terrier to give you a nice finish. Huh? Yes. What do you think? What do you think, bud? I know you're a good boy, huh? All right, thanks.